Hey guys, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek3, and with everybody updating to iOS 10, I know there are those of you who do not like iOS 10 or find it to be too slow right now. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to downgrade back to iOS 9. You are going to need a Mac or Windows PC and go ahead and connect your device to your computer. Now you're going to need a couple of things. First of all, you're going to need iTunes and you're going to need the iOS 9 IPSW. I have a link for this in the description. So go ahead and download the latest version and then uh, drag it to your desktop or wherever you like to keep it. Once you have that downloaded, go ahead and open up iTunes and navigate to your device menu. Once you're in here, you should be able to see your device information. Here, go ahead and shift click check for update. If you're on Windows, if you're on a Mac computer, use the option key. With that key selected, go ahead and click on the check for update option. And here you should be able to find that IPSW. Go ahead and just select that one and update to this firmware. Now while this is loading, I did want to quickly mention to you guys that in my personal experience, I had lost some applications on the way down from iOS 10. So be careful while you're downgrading. It may be a little bit safer to stay on iOS 10. So if you don't have a backup on iOS 9 that you can restore to, I recommend staying on iOS 10, at least for now. This is likely due to the fact that Apple changed a lot in the iOS 10 file system when it comes to applications and third-party developers. So this is part of the feature of iOS 10 for the future, but for right now, it's not safe to downgrade back without the risk of losing something. Now, I'm not saying you will lose applications. I'm just saying you might lose applications. So be careful. Although I've heard from many people that they've never lost anything from downgrading. So blowing past the setup screen, we are back on iOS 9. So this is no longer iOS 10 and looks like all my apps are kind of moved around and or gone. So that's not good. If we take a look at the storage settings, I can actually see all those applications just blank and I might have to re-download these apps later on. Although when I updated back to iOS 10, those apps reappeared, which is pretty interesting how this is working right now. Now keep in mind I was downgrading from the developer beta of iOS 10, so that may have been a bug. So it looks like my pictures are still here, but I'm not sure where my apps went. But I think after this video, I'm going to go back to iOS 10. That way I can provide you guys with more iOS 10 coverage. What do you guys think about iOS 10? Let me know in the comments. Anyways, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. You want to try some drugs? I don't care. Give me the drugs. What is that? Whoa, don't move. Don't move. I'm really high. <laughs> I am really high. Hot dog man? Oh!